the physical aspect of a man wearing a dress and a woman wearing pants, it puts a spirit upon them. If you believe it or not, it puts a spirit upon it. It makes them think different. That's why the question he asked, do you ever see a man wearing a dress? Is he ever, is he, is he ever masculine? No, he's normally feminine, right? When a woman wears pants, she's normally being masculine, right? Give me Romans 1 first. Hold that. Give me Romans 1. Why? I'm going to show you the spiritual aspect of Deuteronomy 24 and 5. This is why God said not to do it. I got you. I'm going to you. I'm gonna show you who you are real quick, too. I got you, bro. What was your name again? Brandon. Brandon, what was your name? We got a Sonic. A Sonic? Sonic. Like Sonic. Like Sonic. Like Sonic. Okay, I got you. Watch this. Read this real quick. Romans chapter 1 and verse 25. Uh -huh. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? So who changed the truth of God into a lie? Who said it was okay for a man to wear dresses and women to wear pants? The devil. Okay, that's, that's the spiritual part of it. But what physical person says it's okay to do that today? Think about the national, think about who, who, runs, who runs the world right now. Who says it's okay to do whatever you want to do? The celebrities and stuff, right? It's being pushed by who? Right, there's a, so there's things behind what is allowed and what's going on today, read. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Uh -huh. And worshiped and served the creature more than the creator. What we do today, we serve the creature more than the creator. We serve man more than we serve God. This is the issue that God has with us today. That's this is why there's, these are things that's happening to us in our communities. He gave us things to abide by. We got away from those things. Now we're cursed until he returns. He's saying what? Why? Because we serve the creature more than the creator, Read. Who, who is blessed forever uh -huh. for this cause. God gave them up unto vile affection. So because of this, God has given them up to a vile affection. Read. He's going to explain it, Read. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. What is the natural use of woman? What's the natural use of woman? Making children. Making children. That's a natural use. What does she do with it? And To buy the fiction, uh -huh. but even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. So they changed the natural use, which is procreation, right? When you're woman to woman or man lay with man, how can you procreate off that? You can't. So then, what are you doing? You're killing your own people. We're not able to re we're not able to repopulate our own nation. You get what I'm saying? That's why God said, don't do that. Don't, women, don't lay with women. Men, don't lay with men. Read. And likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the women, burning their lust one toward another. So God is telling you, look, men is burning their lust for men. It's, the, it's, the, it's not natural for that to be. But what society is teaching us, what this image is teaching us, is that it's okay. It's okay to do that, but it's not. This is what God's talking about. Read. Men with men, uh -huh. working debt, which is unseemly. Because it's unseemly for men to be with men. Society is teaching them, hey, it's okay, bro. As long as you ain't doing this, okay, let them do them. That's them. No, we ain't supposed to be allowing that. Right, read. And receiving in themselves uh -huh. that recompense of their error, which uh -huh. was me. Okay, read that again. Watch this. And receiving in themselves uh -huh. that recompense. That recompense is that reward. Of that judgment, that what? Of their error. Of their error. He's saying what? Man laying with man and woman laying with woman is an error in life. It's against God. No matter what church you're going to try to spin it, no matter what celebrities is pushing it, no matter what, it's going against the Bible. Right. So us as prophets here today, standing on 56 of Portland, is what? Here to teach the truth of the Bible. Right. Thus right. says the Lord. Not out of our own interpretation. Not what we think, because what we think doesn't matter to God. What matters to God is what he tells us to do. Read. Which was me. Uh -huh. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge. Our people don't like to retain God in their knowledge. That's why we're a sinful nation. That's why everything we do today directly goes against God. Right. God said, don't lay with men. Men lay with men. God said, don't kill. We kill. God said, say, don't fornicate, we fornicate. God said, don't be an, uh, an adulterer, we be adulterers. He says, don't be an idolater, we're idolaters. Everything we do in today's society goes against God. If you're not keeping God's commandments, 
You're going against them, period. It's easy to be understood. Read. God gave them over to a reprobate mind. So now what? God gave them over to a reprobate mind. Now what? The reprobate mind means that they don't understand judgment. They're, they don't understand the consequence of what's going to happen. It's going to read. It's going to say it. Watch. Read. To do those things which are not convenient. Being filled with all unrighteousness. Why? Because we're filled with all unrighteousness. For one, why? Because we don't know who we are as a nation of people. We don't acknowledge that we are these people here. We call ourselves African American. We call ourselves Black. We call ourselves Hispanic. We call ourselves Native American. We call all ourselves Puerto Rican, right. Cuban. Read out. We call all ourselves these things. But God says, no, you're an Israelite. Right. Right. You're not Puerto Rican. You're from the tribe of Ephraim. Read out. You're not Cuban. You're from the tribe of Manasseh. You're not Black. You're from the tribe of Judah. That's right. Read. Fornication, uh -huh. wickedness, uh -huh. covetousness. Now he's naming those things that are righteous. Read. Maliciousness, uh -huh. full of envy, uh -huh. murder, uh -huh. debate, uh -huh. deceit, uh -huh. malignity, Read. whisperers, Read. backbiters, Read. haters of God, uh -huh. what? what? haters of God. Our people are haters of God. Guess what? And it's not even their fault. We just don't know that we're supposed to be keeping the commandments because Christianity and church tells us the laws are done away with. Right. All you got to do is have the faith in Jesus. We'll be redeemed by the blood of Christ. If you believe in that, now you can do whatever the hell you want to. But no, the Bible just said you're what? Haters of God. He says you're haters of God. Read. Despiteful. Uh, the what? Read. Despiteful. Uh -huh. Proud. Uh -huh. Boasters. We're, we're a powerful people. We're a very prideful people. But our pride gets in the way of us being able to understand who we are according to the Bible. It gets in the way of us being able to understand that we should be keeping God's laws. It gets us in the way of understanding that Christ is actually a black man. Right. Not Caesar Bolger, not the image that was created by Adam and the Six and his son. That's what pride does. When we can break down our pride and we can be allowed to let the word of God enter into you, then when you start to get understanding, then will you know that keeping the commandments is how you get salvation. Read. Inventors of evil things, uh -huh. disobedient to parents, uh -huh. without understanding, Read. covenant breakers, Read. without natural affection. Natural affection is what? It's one of the we talked about homosexuality, but it's also going about into what? The natural affection to love one another as a people. We don't love one another as a people no more. We look at ourselves and we see an enemy. There's no natural affection toward ourselves anymore. We don't have a natural affection towards God, therefore our natural affection towards our own people. That's right. Free. Implacable. Uh -huh. Unmerciful. Uh -huh. Without knowing the judge who knowing the judgment of God. With knowing the judgment of God, read. Who knowing the judgment of God? Why do we know the judgment of God? Because we always know in the back of our mind, even through Christianity, we know heaven and hell. Even though we don't know the 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 true meaning or the true understanding of it, we know in the back of our mind, heaven and hell. We know there's a place for those who do right, and we know there's a place for those who do wrong, right? So we know the judgment of God, read. That they which commit such things are worthy of death, but they that commit such things are what? Are worthy of death. Everything that we named above. All of those things that you are named above, if you, uh, if you know that judgment, you're worthy of death, read. Not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. So not only is it the ones that are doing those things, but you have pleasure in those that do them. Meaning what? You might not be particularly into a certain thing, but you're cool with those who do it. God saying what? You're going to get the same judgment, bro. Because why? You ain't correcting them and telling them not to do it. Right. If you're going to be your brother's keeper, then be your brother's keeper and tell them, bro. You shouldn't be committing adultery. You got a whole wife at the crib. What? Don't do that. The Bible said we shouldn't be doing that. If you go back with a chick, right, get to know the chick brother. See, that's why you really want to be with for real. And if it is so, then you marry that woman. But we don't have that knowledge and understanding in our communities no more. Yeah. We got baby daddies and baby mamas. Multiple. That's, right. that's where we at today. In the black community, Hispanic community, and Native American community. That's right. 
That's how you know we fit the curses of the Bible. Right. That's how you know we're the true people of the Bible. Right. Is that it? Go back where I had you holding. Go back to Jeremiah 31, 22. Because he made a point before he got off. He said, now you see women, now you see women showing this, uh, this, this real masculinity, right? Today, where the man is more effeminate, but the man is more, watch this, what are you saying? I said, because you challenge everything. It's in the Bible, it says, try to work by the word. Yes. And so as you read it from the word, there was things that I was learning from one of my brothers, Charles. Uh-huh. And I was, it's a Charles little... Dixon. Charles Dixon? That's my guy right there. That's my, that's my guy right there. Watch this, because this is what we can hold that, but give me proper uh, three to five. Watch this, because this is what we got to do. And it's something that I have to do. Yep, this is going to be good. This is something I had to do. Not good. He's teaching you, bro. That's what you're supposed to be doing. That's a beautiful thing. If Charles taught you, you ain't going to put him receive it yet. But even the Lord, the Lord God you retain, able to give it to another brother, bro, that's righteous. Right. My brother, uh, my break is about to end. I have to get back to Hey, no doubt. Hey, you got a flyer? Uh, yes, I have my All of our information is on that flyer, bro. Okay, and do you guys have like a spot, you guys? Yeah, we do. Right up the street. Right up the street? Yeah, oh, look, I look, live up look the street. On, look on the flyer. We got you. All right, so All right, read this. Because this is what we have to do. What's your name again? Hey, what's your name? Thank you, my brother. Iman, look. Because we come from a place, especially, do you guys go to church? You go to church? So we come from a place of, you know, when we think we have a little bit of understanding, right? We come from a place where, you know, we, gotta, we think we got a little knowledge according to what we've been taught as children. But this is what God said. When you come into his knowledge, this is what we got to do. Read. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5. Uh -huh. Now trust in the Lord with all thine heart. So we got to trust in God with all of our minds. Not the thing that beats the blood or makes us breathe. He's not saying that. He compares your heart to your mind. Read. Right. And lean not unto thy own understanding. We can't lean unto what we think we know. We got to lean unto what the Bible says. We got to become as children again. Give me that Matthew 18. Watch what Christ says. Watch how Christ teaches the men. Matthew chapter 18 and verse 3. Read out. And said, Verily I say unto you. Start at verse 1 we get the understanding. Verse 1. Uh -huh. At the same time, because the disciples gave the disciples unto Jesus, uh -huh. saying, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Read. And Jesus called a little child unto him. So he's now he's going to show him. He's about to give him the answer. Go ahead. And set him in the midst of them. Uh -huh. And said, Verily I say unto you, Read. Except ye be converted. Said, except you be converted. Meaning to what? What do you mean to convert? Change. To change, right? Watch how he does this. Read. And become as the little children. As what? As little children. So we had to change and become as little children, read. Ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. He said, if you don't become as a child, you ain't getting into heaven. That's right. Read. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself. What do you got to do? Whosoever therefore shall humble himself. You have to humble yourself as a child because why? Because when a child is young, he's taught everything. You're teaching him how to walk. You're teaching him how to talk. You're teaching him how to count. You're teaching him how to do his ABCs, right? You, the child knows nothing but what he's taught. If you tell a child two plus two is five for his entire life, anytime he's asked what's two plus two, what's he gonna say? Five. He's gonna say five, why? Because that's what he was taught. So if we're taught Christ's color doesn't matter, if we're, twice, if we're taught that there's only spiritual Israel, what do we really know? We're only, we're only taught about what we were taught. But he said to be what? Humbly, humble himself as a little child. We have to humble ourselves as children, knowing nothing when we come to God. Why? Because now God is trying to give you everything that you need for salvation. Read. As this little child, uh -huh. the same is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Now, he said the same is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Why? Because that man is willing to be converted. He's willing to change. He's willing to humble himself and become as a child so he can do what? Be tied. What's this? First Peter chapter 2 and verse 2. As newborn babes desire the sincere hey, milk. Real quick, listen to this. God just brought, I just brought up a point. Go ahead, Last couple go ahead, minutes. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Desire the sincere milk. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because he just said be as children. Watch what he says, right? Watch what Peter said. As newborn babes desire this. No, start from verse 1. In verse 1. Wherefore, laying aside all malice. Laying aside all malice. And all guile. And all guile. And hypocrisy. Uh huh. And hypocrisies. And envies. And your envies. And all evil speaking. And all your evil speaking. As newborn babes. As what? As newborn babes. You have to be newborn babes. Goes back to what Christ was saying in Matthew 18. 
be as children, be converted. It's the same thing Peter was t- teaching right now, read. As newborn babes, uh-huh. desire the sincere milk of the word. The sincere milk of the word is God's law. Yes. Through God's law, you gain wisdom and understanding. Right? You start to read the Bible in a new mind before you can understand the thing that you once could not understand. Why? Because now you humble yourself, you're being converted, you're changing, and you're being humble enough to receive the word of God. So now God is going to give you some understanding and wisdom on how you ought to be. That's why we run around today in Christianity and think we know. We run straight to Paul and not know that Paul was taught speaking the exact same thing that Christ did. That's right. The exact same thing. Because Christ taught Paul. Why would Paul say anything different than what Christ said? Get you know what I'm saying? Read. That ye may grow thereby. Uh-huh. If ye be, if so, be ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious. Why? Because when you when you desire that sincere milk, why right, the taste of that is uh Psalm 97. The sincere milk, like I was saying, is what you taste, what gives you the ability to get to understand what you learn to keep God's laws. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Is you. And finally, my brethren, be strong.